Hey guys, it's Michelle, Mayor Tyson and Howie's mom coming to you with another great tip for your pets. So if you're like me and you're always worried about flea and ticks and you want some kind of prevention to use that's all natural without putting harmful chemicals and things into their bodies, I got a solution for you. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make our own DIY flea and tick preventative spray. So what are you gonna use and what are you gonna do? First, you're gonna go to the dollar store if you have one by you, and you are going to buy a bag of these travel bottles. See these travel bottles? It came with these two, and then it came with one spray bottle. I basically wanted the spray bottle unless you can get your hands on just a little spray bottle like this, okay? Then at my dollar store, I got a two pack of bandanas. So you can see they got, ours has a different variety of them. So we got these kinds, we got these kinds, but two for a dollar can't beat that price. Now what we wanna do is we want to go to either Amazon or our um, health food store that we might have by us and we need to get some essential oils. So what are these essential oils that we need to get? So let me show you, we got four bottles here and the four bottles that we need, we need 10 drops of geranium. We need 10 drops of citronella. We need five drops of cedar or cedar wood. And we need five drops of patchouli. I hope I'm saying that right, but patchouli, see that? Um, again, you can get them from your health food store. You can get them from Amazon. They all run about four to five dollars a bottle. Just the one of them was about fourteen dollars. But again, thirty bucks flea prevention for all season for you guys. Flea and tick prevention. It's great. I just took those, multiplied them enough to put them in my spray bottle. Then what I'm going to do is take my bandana here, and all we're going to do on our bandana is we are just going to spray that bandana with our spray bottle and give it a good six or seven squirts all over that bandana. Now, if Holly was here, I'd put it on Holly and show you, but he's not here and he's really weird about smells. So this has a really um, woodsy smell to it. So you can do it one of two ways. You can put it on your pet like this. So we're gonna use a little handy dandy model here. You can put it on your pet like this, or you can actually roll it up. And if you wanna roll it up, like this and put it on your pet like that, whatever your pet prefers, you can do that as well. I do not recommend spraying it directly on your pet. I put it on the bandana. Every time you guys go out for a walk, respray it a little bit, put it on your pet, and it's going to repel any of those fleas and ticks. Some other alternatives that you can use are also Dr. Harvey's has an herbal spray, but for the life of me, I can't find mine, which has got me to thinking about this and making this and showing you guys how easy it is to do on your own if you can't get your hands on any. Um, and then also Wonderside has a flea and tick as well too. Um, and this one you can use on pets directly, you can use it on bedding. Um, I haven't found great success with this, but I have it on hand just in case. But I wanted to be able to offer you guys some alternatives. You know I'm all about doing things uh, that you can do on your own DIY, and this is a simple, easy, inexpensive way for flea and tick prevention that you can control. So grab some of these from the dollar store, grab a spray bottle, get those essential oils. And here, you can even take a screenshot of this if you want, or just let me know, it'll be in the post, and I can also send you a copy of it. That way you have it for yourself at home. Made the little label for my bottle, and we are good to go. So we hope you guys found this tip informational and of great use. Please feel free to share with your friends. Uh, if you do share it with your friends, tag us, make sure you give us a comment, let us know if this has helped you, and anything else we can do. Thanks for watching.